Jack, congratulations for making number nine Thank on you. the Pride Power List for 2016. You are creeping up every year, right? That's you? my heels, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> so what does um, 2016 Pride mean to you? Because it's a very poignant Pride for many of us this year, isn't it? Well, I think it's more important than ever that we come together and celebrate Pride this year um, to show that we are unafraid of bigotry, that we're unafraid of... Of, of the outside world not accepting us as large. I mean, the phrase I've heard so much this year around Pride is it's the day where the minority become the majority. And so it's going to be really great to see everyone come together, be exactly who they are, celebrate together, stand in a show of solidarity, Absolutely. arm in arm, shoulder to shoulder, to show that we are unafraid to be who we are. I mean, you campaign for so many of LGBT rights, but I noticed on the list this year, you were mainly concentrating on awareness of, tell, tell me what your, what your key message was this year, actually, instead of me putting words in your mouth. Well, um, earlier on um, last year, into this year, I came out as transgender, um, which means I'm now on a course of testosterone. I'm, um, I, I, I'm well aware of the irony of standing here in a skirt and heels <laughs> talking about my testosterone. Yeah. But skirts and heels are for everyone, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not afraid of that. Um, so I came out as non-binary, which basically means that I, I don't feel that I fit or I definitely don't fit anywhere on the spectrum of male or female. I'm somewhere in the middle. I'm a grey area. Some days I am more female, some days I am more male. Right. Um, and I'm, so yeah, I'm just balancing that out a little bit. And, and since I've come out, I've heard from so many people who are also non-binary. They also feel that they don't fit you know in, in traditional gender roles and as a staunch feminist actually I find one of the best things we can do to the gender spectrum is smash it up I say actually but segregating people into roles according to their chromosomes or their genitalia it's so 19th century and we need to get into the world that we're in now and accept that we are all different but equal well, we'd expect nothing less from you than to smash it all up. Have a wonderful Pride, and thanks for all your support.